soon. Okay then, this is just a quick tour with you. Um, treated myself to the Sparrow's Mace Picks. Um, let's get this up. It's, there's eight parts to the kit. Kit, set, whatever you want to call it. So we've got six tensioners and two picks. That's it. So these are your picks, guys. They are pretty, let's be honest. Look at these. Now, this one I've done a little bit of polishing on. I've yet to touch the other one. Now what are we going to call this? I'm not sure, I'll have to check the literature what they're calling that, but I wouldn't call that a Bogotar. Um, excuse me guys. That's a Bogotar. Yeah. Far more, you know, significant peaks. But I'm not complaining. It's nice, it's practical. Yeah, well, <laughs> practical. Um, it's pretty, it's gadgety, and that's what I wanted. Now if you look at these, Design says that you can use this bit as a pry bar. And if I can get the camera to focus on it, probably not, it's going to be a pig. There are serrations on the tip. Can we see any of them? Just along the top here, on, on the sides. Just like on a pry bar. I don't think the camera's going to play ball. So, two of them. Tension is one, two, three. You know, with your standard twist. And then one, two. Where's the third one? There's the third one. Double ended ones without a twist. In a set for 15 quid. Um, plus postage. Yeah, alright. You know, it is what I wanted. I wanted a gadget and a toy. Compare it size by size next to your standard bog guitars. Um, yep. So, I also treated myself to one, two of the Sparrow's Bogotars as well. The, the double peak and the triple peak. Now these are really thin, 0 0.015 or something. Very thin, very flexible. But very good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I call a Bogota. And put it side by side next to the Peterson's. Yeah, not a lot in it. Um, just excuse me for a sec. Now, a bit more detail. I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought some Petersons a while back. Now, these haven't been touched. Yeah, you can hear that, can't you? Now, these two have been capiched. God, that's smooth. And then, let's have a look at these without a polish on them. I haven't touched them. So somewhere in the middle, they're nowhere near as bad as the Petersons, but obviously they're nowhere near PC standard. Um, these ones, let's have a look. Now, I have had a little bit of a go at this one, so we'll try two that haven't been polished. Can you guys hear that? I'm a bit of scrapey scrapey, but still nowhere near as bad as the Petersons. So six tensioners, wherever they've all gone. Um, two mace picks, 15 quid, I'm pleased with that, and because I was paying for the postage, a couple of sparrows. So anyway, yep, yeah, really pleased with those picks, and just a quick thank you to Stu. Cast's not too bad, I've had that a few times, the 140, 14040, lovely, very nice, pretty little thing. Um, I only had a go at the Distertainers a couple of times and I've got nowhere with them. The Chub, Abus, you're a star. I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. Um, um, a quick thank you just to Slim. Cheers, buddy. Took us a while to figure out who on earth this was sent this, but this, these all came addressed to my little boy. Um, with a Lego model, with two ba three bags of sweeties, and something for Daddy. It was a massive box, really. He was absolutely over the moon. He hasn't stopped going on about it. So, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Um, that was a review on my Sparrows. Sparrows Mace set.
Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, makes a change for my diamond. Although I do like my diamonds. So anyway, just a quick review. Sparrow's Mace Picks. Um, yeah, I like them. Give us a couple of weeks, let's have a play with them. See what I can do with them, see if I can get some videos in. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and take care now. Bye.